Welcome back. The ski world often focuses on the largest mountains, but a new film about to make its debut soon focuses on the small yet mighty. The 100 foot mountain highlights one of the small community ski hills that we have nestled right here in the Twin Cities. It's called the 100 foot mountain. I love the name. Uh, it was going to premiere tonight at Buck Hill, but it actually has been postponed. Their Bucktoberfest is postponed because of the weather. So mark your calendar for October 14th. In the meantime, we have the film's producer, Matthew Zabransky from Midwest Skiers. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, this is really a unique niche because we do <laughs> think of the big, big ski hills, just yeah. as you say in, in the trailer that I believe we have some video of. Um, but the, you focus on the community, the, the smaller hills. Tell yeah. us why you wanted to highlight Como. Absolutely. So in the industry, we have a tendency to focus on the grandeur of the sport, right? The extreme, the air, the steepness. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, there's a whole other side of it, which is the family element, the learn to ski programs. And I, um, unfortunately, they just don't see as much of the spotlight as a lot of those other uh, you know, elements of the sport. So we, in this film, we really wanted to highlight a small community hill, which you know, is one of the most, if not the most urban hill I've ever been to. It's right in the middle of our city. Um, and it's a great way to introduce people to the sport that maybe normally wouldn't be exposed to it. Maybe there's a financial barrier there. Maybe their family's never been into it. And, this program at Como does a great job of being able to offer skiing for everybody. Yep, and we're showing a little bit of the trailer there. Just beautiful images. You traveled all around. You, this is what you do. You, yeah, you, yeah. you travel the globe, you ski, and you kind of just assess and kind of make these video creations based on all sorts of different ski mountains and hills um, yeah. far and wide. Yeah, we really focus on the Midwest. We found that there was not a lot of coverage for the, the Midwest in particular because of their kind of lack of mountains really mm -hmm. you know, more hills and smaller so we started a YouTube channel and just started media based around that and it's kind of exploded into now its own production company that we you know do a lot of ski films for the industry now and we as we know I mean there's a lot of skiers in our area and um, you know I mean the Buck Hill has their big tent sale or they're, they're swapping gear and stuff this weekend um, what do you hope is the big takeaway because this is also something that non skiers can watch as absolutely well. and that's that is the biggest takeaway. You know, the sport has continued to talk about how we can get more inclusion in the sport. And to me, I think hills like Como, um, areas like the Twin Cities are the answer, right? Because no one's going to drive three, four hours to spend hundreds of dollars to go skiing if they've never experienced it before. They're not in a culture of that. So the, really the focus of this film is to, to acknowledge that there are these small areas that are great for people to learn to ski, but also to expose people that might not be normally exposed to it to get more people into it from different backgrounds. Right, and a great place to learn because those big yeah. mountains, they are intimidating. <laughs> okay, so what is your favorite? I want to know your favorite place to ski on the planet, but also your <laughs> favorite place to ski in the Midwest. Oh, I get this question so <laughs> often. So on the planet, I mean, I've been to a lot of places. Uh, Kicking Horse in uh, Canada is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I just have great memories there. And in the Midwest, that is such a loaded question. And I have to say from this year, it's got to be Como. Yeah. Because you go to these places, and yes, it's not the biggest, but seeing all the children, their faces light up, showing you their, their local hill, because they're excited that somebody's interested in it. So I think that that element of it is just so cool. Yeah, very good. And where can people find you if they want to learn more yeah. or follow some of your work? So yeah, yes. you can head on over to our website, MidwestGears.com, yep. and we'll keep that updated as well. We're going to do an online premiere of the film, the short film, on uh, November 5th as well. Okay, very good. Matt Zabransky, nice to meet you. Nice Appreciate to meet you. it. I know.